Hey guys, welcome back to the Backseat Driver Show. I'm Julian and on my right is Idris, on my left is John. And today we are going to talk about are your new tyres on your new car any good? Yes, the stock tyres, the OE tyres. Yes. Yes, OE so tires. what we have done, we have taken some tyres from Bridgestone. Yes. But before you say that uh, we are being paid, we are being paid, yeah. but honestly speaking, I wish Bridgestone approached us earlier because I actually bought the Alenza tyres way before Bridgestone approached us. Yeah. And, and yeah. okay, spoiler alert, I like the tyres. Well, yeah. I mean, for me, I do really like the s double sevens. I think they're really good tyres. They offer a lot of grip mm. and very good for daily use. But, of course, today, we are going to talk about the OE tyres, the tyres which actually come with your cars. Currently, T005. Now, this tyre... There we go. Is original equipment for the likes of BMW 1 Series and of course the Mercedes-Benz A-Class. We'll put a list of all the cars somewhere here. In my face. Well, the Toranza is meant for all your normal sedans, hatchbacks, that kind of cars. Non-performance cars really. The Toranza, you will find the Toranza T005 on. And we know that this tyre is also meant for Mercedes because it does have something over here which yeah, says sorry. Height limitation, cannot see MOE oh. Extended, okay? So this doesn't mean that this is Ministry of Education huh? Ministry of Extended Yeah, <laughs> Ministry of... <laughs> This is actually Mercedes-Benz Original Extended So it means that this tyre is sort of meeting the requirements that Mercedes has when it oh. comes to tyres. So since we are here, let's talk about, well, the numbers over here, right? This is of course your tyre size, 225's width, 45, it's profile, of course, your rim size. 18. Yes, and this number, this is the one which confuses a lot of people. Well, the number over here actually corresponds to the weight. Yeah, the load rating. The load mm -hmm. rating of how much the tyre can take. Yes. So 91, I think it's about 600. 600, 615 ish. kilometers yeah, you per can, tire. Yeah, you can find the list. Oh, okay, sorry, 615 kg per tire. Yeah. yeah, so you can sort of find a list which explains these numbers. And of course, the letter at the back is the speed rating. So W actually means that this tire is rated for 270 kilometers per hour. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you yeah. can meet, meet that speed in Singapore, we would yeah. like to see you. Uh, yes. It'll be fantastic. Not saying that I've done it before. But um, yeah, so let's talk a little bit about the tread, yeah? Okay. When it comes to noise, I think a lot of people are concerned when it comes to noise. And there are a lot of things which causes noise mm. in a tyre. And I think one of them is, well, let me just turn this so you can see better. Is the tread itself. So all these pitches and grooves actually causes noise. And what Bridgestone has done is place it in certain variations to make sure that, well, the noise is not too excessive, I think. And... What I like about this tyre actually, when I drive it, is that it's actually quite good and quite responsive. And one of the reasons why is because it has a reinforced sidewall. And now, most people know that the sidewall actually affects the tyre quite a lot. I think if the tyre has a stiff sidewall, it means it's more responsive in terms of handling. But comfort-wise, you know, it won't be as comfortable. But surprisingly, the Terenzas, I think you've driven quite a few cars with Terenzas already. Mm. Surprisingly quite comfortable, so I think Bridgestone has done a very good job on that. And another thing which I really like about this tyre is if you look carefully at the block edges over here, the pitch edges, you notice that it's chamfered a little bit inside, so it's rounded off. Yep. Because the thing is, with a stronger structure, of course it prevents flex, prevents the tyre to deform and all that kind of stuff. But with this, it actually allows for the block itself to not get deformed under braking and cornering forces and stuff like that. So, right, this right. tyre also has like some nano flex compound and all that kind of stuff which makes the compound better, you know, it connects with the silica and the polymer better and all that. I'm not a scientist, huh? <laughs> so, <laughs> I cannot tell you whether that is good or not. But, with all those features that I explained, this tyre comes as standard with quite a number of cars. Mm. And if you ask me, well, this is quite a good offering actually. A lot of people think that stock tyres are quite bad when it comes mm. to cars, mm. but 
think if you get Bridgestones, I think they're quite good. Okay. Yeah, to okay. a lot of manufacturers, they pick tyres that will help the car perform well, actually, mm. as stock. Yes. So another reason why some brands pick a certain tyre is so that it can uh, achieve the best fuel consumption figures yeah. as possible. So yeah, that's, that's right. why some okay. brands pick some mm. tyres and yeah. Bridgestone is being picked by people like Mercedes. Yes, okay. exactly. Fair enough, fair enough, fair enough. Yeah, and many people are actually even changing these tyres when they, you know, their tyres are worn, they're actually getting to Ranza. So it's not like people are just throwing these tyres away and not getting them again. So, yeah, to Ranza. I've, I've had Turanzas before. Really? Yeah, I've had Turanzas before. Oh, yeah, 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 you had Turanzas uh, on before. On my, my previous car, I had Turanzas. Um, it's a lot more quieter compared to my current ones, of course. Yes. So, so I, I can really feel it. Uh, a lot of people think that getting tyres are not really important. There's very little differences. You know, if you get tyre A and tyre B, essentially a tyre is a tyre. Well, not really. I think there are a lot of different qualities to different mm. tyres, especially different brands and the mix and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. Uh, so... Yeah, I mean, I, I, I have an idea what Turenza is, but uh, my current tyres are actually the Potenza, no, the RE71, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah, uh, uh, um, and just as well, because we actually have the S001 today mm. as well. Potenza S001. The S001 that we have today are actually uh, RFTs or run flat tyres. Uh, the thing about this is, like the Turenzas, uh, they are RFTs. I can't say uh, a lot about this. A lot about this, to be honest, because my previous tires are actually S double O ones, non RFTs. Mm. Uh, very grippy, uh, a little noisy actually. Mm. Um, but I think that comes with uh, those Max Performance tires. Yeah. Very naturally. Uh, oh, I've got a little dot here on my on my hand. Nice. Oh. Okay. <laughs> so Julian, where can I find these tyres? Oh, you can actually find these tyres on like high performance cars. You can find it on hot hatches, mm. you can find it on performance sedans. Yeah, okay. basically all the fiery, spicy cars. Nice. Now, just to put it down so that it won't block my view. Mm. Uh, now, a little bit about, about, about these tyres. Like you said, right? Mm. There's uh, additional stiffness around here. Mm. Uh, a lot of components and a lot of stuff are all inside. I know nothing about those components <laughs> like you, and I'm sure you too. <laughs> I, I know nothing about them, but here's what I do know, right? Uh, some car manufacturers, when you buy a new car, they actually... Uh, adjust the suspension according to the tyres that's being fitted. So if it's an RFT, you'll actually have to uh, soften the suspension a little bit more mm. because the car is actually stiffer with these uh, run-flat tyres naturally. Uh, also, if you're thinking like, oh, you know, uh, I'm driving a conventional tyres now with conventional tyres like mine, uh, I want to change to RFTs, which I've considered before, mm. uh, but I didn't because... I needed to install my TPMS or Tire Pressure Monitoring System mm. uh, on my car, which is an old car, it doesn't have all these kinds of stuff. Whereas for newer mix that come standard with these tires, like the BMW 3 Series, the 7 Series, mm. um, if I'm not wrong, I think the Lexus uh, LC500, the Infinity as well, mm. I think it was QX50 or Q50 yeah. or something. Yeah, Megan like RS, I yeah. think yeah. Golf GTI also. GTI as yeah. well, yes, they come with these tires as standard. These are modern cars and they already have the mm. TPMS installed. It's, it's in the car. What do we need a TPMS? Uh, okay, the tire pressure monitoring system is to let you know uh, if there is air coming out of the tire or mm. if there's a puncture. So what RFT does is you are still able to drive if you have a puncture mm. up to I think 80 kilometers. About there, uh, yeah. And at a max speed of about 80 kilometers per hour, uh, you can try faster. I, wouldn't recommend that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, but yes, so you have, you can actually get to your, you know, whatever workshop okay. uh, in a relatively safe manner. Because for my case, when my front left tire punctured, I had to stop immediately because there was like smoke coming out, man. Oh, I was man. like, oh man. It was a big O. Huh? Yeah, yeah. My, my wife was panicking. Then, Stay my, my daughter was behind. It was at night, actually. Mm. Uh, and I was on a highway, so I filtered all the way. Mm. And... I had to call a tow truck. Whereas if you if you are actually installed with RFTs, you wouldn't have to worry that much. Mm -hmm. I think you can still drive to your nearest workshop to have it replaced and all. And of course, the TPMS will actually warn you that you know air is coming out, tire pressure is a bit off. Mm. Oh, so, so that's how you actually know. So without the TPMS, you might not know that you have a puncture. Yes, yeah, you'll be surprised. You, you won't know. Yeah. Oh, yeah, okay, yeah. okay. Oh, you guys have been aprendiendo ese carro, boy. But anyway, I mean. 
that's that. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I think you're right. It, it handles a little bit better. Mm -hmm. um, it also, well, RFD should actually handle better, but it's just, it's, it's, it's probably not as comfortable. But here's the thing. According to Bridgestone, it's that the stiffness or the, 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 the rigidity of the tyre is just marginal compared to conventional tyres. Mm. It's marginal because these are these are like the I don't know what, third or fourth generation RFTs already. If you're talking yeah. about the the older generation RFTs, it's a lot stiffer. Yeah. But the newer ones, well, apparently not. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. I think the SW one, even without RFT, is actually very uh, quite a comfortable tire to drive every day. I feel even though it has a stronger sidewall and all that kind of stuff. I think this this tire is still a lot quieter compared to my RE uh, mm, for mm. sure. This, yeah, these tyres are definitely quieter uh, and I can actually hear the difference. Like back to back, I go in and swap tyres immediately, I can hear the difference. Uh, so if you actually get yourself a car and you're wondering if uh, if, if you, you actually see Bridgestone, RE, uh, Bridgestone Potenza S001 RFTs, well, Good for you, man. <laughs> yes. Yeah. I think there's a star mark, right? Which indicates that yes. this tire is meant for BMWs. So here you go. So you see this little star marking here? So this star marking just indicates that it's made uh, as the OE tire for BMWs. Yes. So while MO is for Mercedes, yes. uh, the star is for uh, BMW. Yes. And it's very common for BMWs to, 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 have, to see star marks for RFTs because, uh, at least for Bridgestones, because uh, a lot of, uh, in fact, all, I would say all BMWs are now fitted with uh, RFTs, right? I'm not too sure about that. Possibly. Possibly. Because I knew, I, I know the i8 was also with RFTs, actually. Uh, I, yeah, the i3 is on RFTs, I think, Eco One yeah. way to find out we should buy a BMW. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, one thing I do like about the S001s is this slick block in the mm. middle. Mm. If you notice, there's no, there's no, uh, no blocks Sides, or yeah. anything like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. A little bit here and there. Yeah. Apparently, Bridgestone says that this gives more responsiveness in terms of steering. Well, I, I, okay, to be honest, I don't know. I don't know about yeah. all these kinds of stuff. Like, he's, 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 he's probably, you know, the expert. I felt this before, yeah. I felt this before. Yeah, I don't know about all these, how these grooves go. And, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, but it does, so. it does help because the S001s are actually quite responsive in the dry. So and having it's actually quite good in the wet as well. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. It's actually it very good in the wet, and in fact, uh, um, but again, like I said, I don't know how this really helps to, uh, you know, I, I don't know because I, I mean, I'm not, I'm not scientist, you know. Right, right, right. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Our Lenza zero zero one. Yeah, the Lenza will be a bit heavier oh. because it's twenty inch. Oh man, do you need help with this? I'm good. Oh, oh, uh, no, uh, <laughs> I'm just touching it. I'm just All right, <laughs> Lenzas. Well, yeah. this, this, I can tell the difference because when you put this in front of me, I, I, I can barely see the camera really. Yeah, let's sweep it the other way around. <laughs> Sorry, your headphones. Yeah. Mm. Alright, so the Lenza is made for SUVs. Yes. Okay. Premium SUVs oh, okay, actually. Okay, okay, okay. Um, one thing that I want Sorry, to... Am I blocking you? No, no, no. So Carry on. it has a BMW star as well. Why not you go in the middle? Oh yeah, man. <laughs> Hi! <laughs> okay, getting on. Uh, another detail you might want to check when you check your tyres, aside from the, the size, you know, the number and everything, is actually this. Thread wear, 300. Traction A, temperature A. Thread wear, the most standard number you get is 100. Yeah. The higher the number, the better the number. So yeah. for the lens, it's 300. So it's better than 100. Traction, uh, I think it starts from double A, then A, then B, then C. So double A is the best, then followed by A. Mm. Temperature is how hot this thing can get before it fails. Mm. A means you know it's one of the be better yeah. tires out there that can take heat. Um, I don't know much about track pattern actually. All I can say is on my Forester, I was driving on the uh, tires that came with it. Mm. Uh, for two and a half years, and the moment I switched over to the Alenza, <laughs> it was a world of difference. Uh. I, I, I'm not paid to say that, okay, but a uh, very real user feedback is it just felt like butter. Yeah. Everything yeah. was much smoother. Mm. It felt, it felt finally that my 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 thread is just straight. Yes. Oh. Yeah. Correct. It, right, just, right. it just felt like that. It just felt that everything was just straightened out and mm. smooth and. Um, this is very addictive. By but that's a good point because the tyres which came with your car 
a sort of like men dual sport kind of thing. Yeah. Like they do mixed terrain. A, a little bit of mixed terrain. Yeah. yeah. So for you, you drive your SUV mostly on the road. So an Alenza will make more sense. Can this yes. can this go off road? I mean, I mean, like you know, can can this can be a, a mix bit. like like yeah, like yeah, the ones before? Yeah, mix. Oh. But I don't think anyone in Singapore will ever yeah no. use use their SUVs in the context that they need the, yeah. the mixed tread patterns. Yeah. You know. And okay. honestly speaking, I, I, I like my tires. Mm. Yeah, it was smooth. Uh, it's quieter. It's really quieter. So uh, there are a few cars that come with this OE mm. uh, RAV4, the Toyota RAV4, mm -hmm. and I think a few oh. of the BMW X models. Uh, yes, I think we have a list here. Yeah, I do remember the GLA, the Mercedes GLA. I think came with a Lancer. If I remember correctly. Yeah, mm. but now this is the first time I'm actually looking close up. Closely, rather, with the lenses, and you can tell like the track blocks are much thicker. They're much bigger. I like the fact that this block over here, this pitch over here, is connected. So that means there's less flex. And you know, SUVs because of their shape and all that, the tires oh, definitely yeah. will take. Maybe we show them. Yeah. See, nice and thick, eh? Thick. Mm. I I can't mm. seem to understand and wrap my head around the whole track pattern. Mm. Oh, I I mean, okay. The most basic one is on roads you want this line these lines to be straight yeah uh, right. then there are those that are really for off-road where you, instead of straight lines you they are interrupted yeah right 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 and and it gives you a lot more grip on, yes. on okay. mud la. correct and it was made, made for grip but these are for for the road la. yeah yeah and um a lot of the road noise uh people actually mistake that it comes from the tire it's mm. actually from the air that's being displaced mm. by, by the threads. So it actually matters. So mm. um, I would say between my previous tyres, this one is a lot quieter, mm. um, not only from the road itself, but from the, the air that's mm. being channeled out I of the tyres. Yeah. Yeah. So, so it, it, it does matter, but you know, yeah, layman through, with our naked eye, we can't really tell, mm. but Actually, once you start driving, you can feel the difference. You know, okay. it, it's very hard to describe. It's just mm. you have to go and try it, to believe. Try it. Yeah. to, to yeah. believe. Yeah, fair enough. Fair enough. Fair yeah. enough. Right. Okay. Okay. And lenses. Good mm. stuff. Bridgestone. Give me one free set. <laughs> nice. Nice. S 7 huh? For me. All right. Do you need help so we're done. Let's, yeah. Let's no, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Yeah. Okay. I'm Let me just touching, I'm just touching it. I'm just touching it, but uh, I, can't, I can't carry it. <laughs> So if you guys happen to, you know, want to buy a new car and you're kind of curious about whether or not the tyres that come with it are any good, uh, these are the three different cars, or rather three different tyres that we have uh, reviewed in that case. Mm -hmm. Let's drive this thing. Uh, owner review, like, owner review. we do yeah. own Yeah, yeah we do own Bridgestones. Mm. Um, you don't have to worry because, uh, like what you mentioned before, a lot of people actually think that if I get a car, you know, if I get a brand new car, the tyres that come with it would usually be rubbish tyres because, you know, the dealers want to save costs and, you know, blah, 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 so and so forth. Well, not exactly true because, like you said, some car manufacturers actually want to maximise the car's performance or fuel efficiency or whatever that is and they tend to want to use quality tyres and Bridgestones are definitely... Uh, Bridgestone tyres are definitely one of them. Uh. Yeah. But in case you guys are wondering, I mean, is it a very big difference in terms of cost uh, between uh, run flat tyres and conventional tyres? Um, again, it depends on the sort of tyres you're going for, it depends on the brand that you're going for. But if we're talking about the S001 to say maybe the S001 RFT, uh, there might be a difference of maybe $100 to $120 per piece. It's about, it's about $215 per piece for the S001 RFT. Right. Uh, I don't know the exact price for S001 conventional tires, but it, it should be about hundred to hundred twenty dollars difference mm. uh, in general. That would be a good uh, ballpark. Mm. So there you have it. Whether stock tires on new cars are actually good, our answer is yes. It can be. Yeah. Quite good. It can be very good, and very high quality. Yes. So I hope you enjoy uh, this episode of Backseat Driver. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel and even share this video. Uh, don't forget to also hit the bell notification button so that you'll be notified every time we upload new videos. In the meantime, comment in the comment box below and tell us what you think about OE Tires. Stay safe, be well. Ciao.
します。